so if we look at the architecture this is the simplified version of it uh, most of the sri lankan organizations are having a single on prem server so in this on prem server we are having several ez components installed uh, all together however uh, it's to this console that we connect uh, through our administrators laptops we are using the web browser to uh, connect to the server all the machines and the servers are managed by ez em agent em stands for ez management agent so this agent talks to the server this is how the communication uh, goes up and down and server sends some uh, instructions it will get executed through the em agent and em agent keeps the server informed of everything that is being uh, conducted so let's uh, try to see what's inside that uh, single server that we have the ez uh, protect server so inside the ez protect server uh, so there's a lot of information being collected we have to have a database to uh, store this information so it could be a, a, a microsoft sql server mostly uh, we uh, we can get it done through an express edition of the sql or else we can install a mysql database either of that will be sufficient so uh, yet again the server can be a linux server or could be a windows server so if it is the windows server then uh, most probably you will be having ms sql express edition if it is the uh, virtual appliance then uh, it comes with the mysql database so what else so in order to uh, provide you a browser based access we are running a apache http service on the server so apart from database services we are running a web web uh, web service as well so then uh, we are running a component called esmc server to which the agents talk to so that is the core of the uh, solution so this is the part that communicates with uh, the agents then uh, when he, when we have another branch or a different site then uh, this apache http proxy comes into uh, act so now we discussed about having a proxy server in the head office to uh, download the update cache the update and distribute it to the uh, endpoint so that we our internet uh, bandwidth get utilized only once per update uh, if we try to do it with the same thing uh, for the branches what will happen is if the branches are connected to a vpn then uh, every time a client from branch uh, accesses the head of his server then the vpn get utilized so we have to prevent that as well so to omit that what we are doing is we are we are only installing the ez apache http proxy component http proxy component at the branch level so the proxy component uh, does not require that much of resources can be installed on a uh, vm or could be uh, Uh, even on a desktop computer but uh, make sure it doesn't uh, get slow down because all branch computers will depend on that particular proxy service to download the updates so what will happen now is the branch http proxy server when it wants the update it will talk to the head of his http proxy server so if the head of his server has already downloaded the update then that update will be uh, uh, sent to the branch http proxy server again similar to uh, the internet use case the vpn will be used only once all the branch pcs will be communicating to the branch proxy server so the update will be taken from the branch proxy server so no other uh, pc will talk directly to the head of his proxy server so in that way we can minimize the utilization of internet bandwidth vpn bandwidth uh, to one instance per update 